Welcome back to the Sage Audio channel. Today we'll be looking at our picks for the top nine free analog emulation plugins. We'll cover their functionality, examine the harmonics that they generate, and listen to some real-time examples of each on a full mix. So stick around for the full video, but first, if you're an artist, engineer, or producer, and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample of it. All you gotta do is set up this short account, upload the song, and we can do the rest. At number nine, we have Pre-FET by Ascentize. Pre-FET is a very unique plugin unlike any of the other ones on this list. The reason being it was designed with the help of AI. Now the plugin itself is very simple to use. In the middle of the plugin is the most important function, the drive rotary. Now with it, you can increase the harmonic generation and compression from zero or little to no effect to 10, which creates heavy saturation. And when using a significant amount of drive, the gain of the signal will be reduced. To compensate for this, a gain slider at the bottom of the plugin lets you adjust the output in dB from negative 15 dB all the way up to 15 dB. Up top on the right side, you have a bypass button which turns off all processing that the plugin would otherwise be using. Using a test oscillator sine wave at 200 Hz, we can see that the plugin generates both even and odd harmonics. Now we've measured these harmonics at a 96 kHz sampling rate, so what we see here shouldn't be the result of any aliasing. At number eight, we have the RSW2395C by Fuse Audio Labs. This plugin is an emulation of the Randall Schultz 500 series EQ, which has the same layout and design. Both the plugin and the hardware implement gentle curves and cues that are indicative of early 1950s console equalizers. Looking at the plugin, we notice that we can affect three frequency bands. Up top is the high frequency band indicated by the color blue. Now this can be switched from the off position to 2 kHz and 5 kHz. The gain is then affected by the slider on the right with a full range of 24 dB. The mid frequency controls are in the middle and are characterized by the color yellow. With the top dial, you can alter the center frequency from 155 Hz to 3.5 kHz. The Q of this band can be altered between three settings. This band can be affected with a range of 20 dB of gain. The low frequency controls are at the bottom and are characterized by the color orange. Like the high frequency control, the low frequency can be altered between two settings, 80 Hz and 110 Hz, and then affected by a range of 24 dB of gain. Now on the right we see two functions that aren't directly modeled off of the Randall Schultz original design. The drive function creates simple, even and odd harmonics, which decrease in amplitude as they increase in frequency. The drive function also decreases the overall amplitude of the signal by introducing compression. Lastly, a trim dial lets you affect the output of your signal with a full range of 60 dB. Next, at number seven, we have the MJUC Junior by Klanghelm. First off, the design of this plugin is really aesthetically pleasing, with great colors, textures, and emulated reflections, making for an easy to navigate and professional looking interface. 
The functionality is really simple as well. On the left of the plugin is the compressed dial, which ranges from a 1 to 1 ratio to a 48 to 1 ratio, which sounds like a soft knee threshold, which slopes down from 0 dB. Now on the right is your makeup gain, which can introduce up to 36 dB of gain and reduce the signal's output by up to negative 12 dB. Now there are three time constant options in the middle, which are your attack and release settings. Fast introduces a fast attack and fast release. Slow introduces a slow attack and slow release. And auto introduces a fast attack and program dependent release. You can click on either the power icon in the bottom right or the VU meter to bypass the plugin. Also the gain reduction in the bottom right of the VU meter can be clicked to switch between gain reduction and output metering. Now, if you click on the Klanghelm logo, you can adjust multiple parameters of your plugin from pop-up tips, the display of edit values, and the sensitivity of the dials and more. Now the plugin introduces a strong second and third order harmonic, which makes the signal sound push forward and more present. At number six, we have Lala by Analog Obsession. The Lala amplifier is an unmistakable clone of the classic Teletronics LA-2A, which uses a light sensor to implement two-step optical compression. Now, the plugin offers features that aren't found in the original hardware, including a wet-dry rotary to blend in the compressed signal with the unprocessed signal. The gain is the makeup gain after the compression, while the peak reduction rotary determines how much compression occurs. A limit button introduces limiting, which makes this plugin great for bus or parallel compression. Additionally, this plugin allows for side chaining. The side chain can be affected with the five functions on the left. Now, these include an external source enabler, a high pass filter from 20 Hz to 500 Hz, a mid frequency from 500 Hz to 10 kHz, and a gain rotary with a 12 dB of range, and a high frequency shelf. And number five, we have Tape Cassette 2 by Kalem Audio. In the middle of the plugin are your left and right VU meters that show the level of your stereo channels. Underneath the cassette graphic is an IR switch, which stands for impulse response. Enabling this toggle means running your signal through the impulse response of a tape machine with a tape type 2 inside. This attenuates your frequency range, as well as includes subtle changes to the timbre and stereo image of your signal. Now at the bottom are five functions. The first is saturation, which introduces harmonic generation, compression, and simultaneous makeup gain. The low pass ranges from 5 kHz to 22 kHz. Real sampled tape noise can be added in with the noise rotary. Taking a look at the analyzer, we see that saturation causes low order harmonics, while WOW shifts the frequency of these harmonics, and Flutter adds in more frequencies closely related to the fundamental and its harmonics. Todo tiene un propósito y dejarme será solo uno más 
Siempre a medias no he logrado encontrar mi otra mitad El tiempo dirá, el tiempo dirá Y cuando lo encuentre de ti no me at number four, we have Code Red by Shattered Glass Audio. Code Red was inspired by classic British tube consoles and introduces complex harmonic generation as well as compression, in addition to the equalization one would find on a channel strip. The signal is split into left and right channels, which can then be affected by various parameters. You can increase or decrease the gain of each. You can also enable a high pass filter. From there you can determine which EQ settings you want with three rotaries which cover the low, mid, and high frequencies. On the right side of the plugin you'll notice a wet-dry rotary, meaning that you can use this plugin to create parallel processing. Three modes including mono, stereo, and stereo linked are available via a switch in the middle. One thing to keep in mind about this plugin is that it introduces distortion pretty easily and quickly, so you'll want to keep an eye on how much signal you're sending to it. The harmonics are even and odd, and will vary between the left and right channel, depending on how you process them. Todo tiene un propósito y dejarme será solo uno más Siempre a medias no he logrado encontrar mi otra mitad El tiempo dirá, el tiempo dirá Y cuando lo encuentre de ti no me voy a correr Number 3 is Tube Saturator Vintage by Wave Arts Starting with the drive dial in the middle, you'll notice that you can increase or decrease the amount of distortion present. At the bottom of the plugin are bass, mid, and treble EQ bands with which you can affect the frequency response of your signal. The bass and treble filters seem to be shelf filters or very broad bell filters, while the mid channel is a broad band filter. And to the right of the EQ section, you'll notice two switches. The first lets you turn on or off the EQ. The second, titled FAT, increases the amplitude of the harmonics to make the fundamental frequency sound more perceivable. The harmonics are even and odd and descend in amplitude. As you can see, the FAT switch increases the amplitude of these harmonics as well as subtly increases the amplitude of the fundamental. <laughs> Quería casarme, ya tan loco en ilusionarme Creyendo en tus besos y tus caricias, la verdad no fue el culpable Todo tiene un propósito y dejarme será solo uno más Siempre a medias no he logrado encontrar mi otra mitad El tiempo dirá, el tiempo dirá Y cuando lo encuentro Number 2 is MV Meter 2 by TB Pro Audio. Although seemingly simple at first, this plugin has a lot of options. First up, you can switch the measurement settings from the typical VU standard to RMSK12, Peak, and a lot of others. This makes it valuable for technical applications like trying to determine and set the accurate loudnesses for certain forms of broadcast. Now from there, you can customize the skin of the meter, the frames per second of the display, and adjust the size to far larger than it would ever really need to be. By clicking the stereo text, you can switch between stereo and mid-side. Up top, you can alter your reference level in dB and delay the signal's measurement by milliseconds. The three small buttons in the middle let you customize your display and the needle mode. At the bottom, you can increase the output gain of your left and right signals with the two dials underneath the respective left and right meters. You can also customize the name of your VU meter in case you're using multiple meters on various buses. To the left of the name, you can link your channels as well as calibrate the meter's measurement. To the right of the name section, you can collapse the window to just one VU meter. At number one, we have Dinosaur by Analog Obsession. 
Last up is another plugin from Analog Obsession. This time, it's a multi-band compressor. Five bands let you hone in on what you want to compress and amplify. Up top is your gain reduction meter. Underneath this meter is your threshold, with which you can affect the amount of compression that's occurring. You can alter your attack and release times from fast to slow to affect the timbre of your compression. Next, there's a variable ratio of 1 to 1 to 20 to 1. The two rotaries underneath the ratio are for the center frequency, which changes with each band, and the bandwidth, which changes from narrow to broad. At the bottom, we have a range of 48 dB of gain. Lastly, you can switch the signal's detection mode from RMS to peak and vary these settings amongst the bands. Siempre a medias no he logrado encontrar mi otra mitad El tiempo dirá, el tiempo dirá Y cuando la encuentre de ti no me voy a... So, these are our picks for the top 9 free analog emulation plugins, but we want to know what you think. Which plugins are you most likely to try, or maybe which ones have you already tried? Also, we bet that we missed some great free plugins that you know about, so leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer, send us one of your mixes at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. All you have to do is set up this short account, upload the song, and we can do the rest. But thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. This way we know if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Also, you can subscribe to the channel. We release new videos every week and subscribing is the best way to stay up to date. There's a comment section where you can leave your thoughts on this video or you can make a suggestion for a future video. And again, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.